Like me. Shall we move on? Let's go. That was easy. Hello everyone, this is Vizzle Team. Welcome to Let's Play Persona 4. Um, I'm not doing the golden version, um, just uh, the regular PS2 version. Um, I should uh, turn on Auto Advanced, uh, or else I'm going to be pressing the X button a lot, so. Um, yeah, this is a little bit different than uh, um, the golden version. Um, I kind of prefer this one. Um, it's not quite as long or anything. Uh, uh, and really, uh, that's okay, so. Um, okay. Um, when your save files um, when they're in peakish there, um, that means you've already run through the game at least once. Um, and if they're yellow like this, uh, that means uh, it's your first playthrough. Um, this is one of those games where um, it's going to take us uh, multiple times to get through it, uh, at least totally. Um, you, you can't do it the first time, so. Um, there is a spot where uh, I'll, I'll kind of uh, say where it is. Um, once you get to that point, um, uh, you're you're really not going to be able to advance any farther. So uh, that's my second playthrough there. Um, that's not the one that I'm going to be loading up. Um, yeah, this one. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to be loading up. Uh, this is my third playthrough. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, a lot of the stuff doesn't transfer over, like levels. Um, but uh, some things will, uh, like the amount of yen that you get, uh, and uh, your actual personas, um, which will make it a lot easier to go through. Um, and uh, what I did in my first and second playthrough is uh, I got all my uh, basic stats to uh, their full point, so I really don't have to go back in and uh, uh, continually try to upgrade like uh, my knowledge or whatever so um, yeah so this will be uh, the one that I'm gonna be loading up um, I, I still have a couple of uh, arcana that uh, I have a little difficulty getting through so um, uh, r really, uh, that's okay, because, uh, you know, once you get to a certain point with, uh, with your arcana, um, you really don't have to worry about it too much, uh, like, like, uh, um, I think, uh, I have less than 50% of the personas that I can get in the game, um, and really, uh, and I don't think that you really have to put too much effort into getting every single one of them. Uh, it's not like uh, you're getting uh, you're gonna get anything like really great or anything. Um, especially uh, compared to sort of three FES. So um, as far as I know. Um, uh, this is just one of the Persona 4 games. Uh, of course, Persona 4 Golden is uh, the most uh, known, so... Uh, I, I think I'll be uh, saving this uh, to a separate save file. Uh, I think I'll be saving it uh, like save 10 or whatever. Um, then uh, I'll make a secondary one uh, like save 11. So.
Okay. I think I'm gonna be leaving the loading scene here for one. Um, I could play it as normal, um, expert, uh, I'd have to be a little careful with, but, uh, I think I'm because doing beginner, because then, then if my guy gets wiped out, uh, at least I'll have a chance to bring him back a couple of times, so, um, I, I kind of wish that they would give you, like, the option to have, like, I don't know, like, three, uh, in normal or whatever, um, because having zero, um, to me, it, it just really doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I, I kind of wish that, uh, we had the difficulty of normal, but... Yeah, well, so... Uh, let's see here... Uh, I had to think there for a second. Um, I don't think I'm going to be editing any of that. Editing, editing of that out, so. Um, um, really, uh, the, the boss enemies, um, they seem to be a little bit harder um, at the beginning of the game. Um, granted, you don't have the spear point or the hit points, or, excuse me, uh, anything, uh, anything like that, but, um, yeah, after a while, they, they do kind of seem to, uh, follow a pattern, so. I'm gonna be the uh, entire thing uh, uh, here on beginning, uh, beginner, so. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, so you all call him, uh, you Narkami, or Narkami you, uh, That is, uh, what his name was in the Persona 4 animation. Let's see, uh... I'm trying to remember, uh, basically, I, th I think it's, uh, just Nara and Kami, and, uh, you just has, uh, 
why you I believe um, I know sometimes uh, uh, some people spell it with uh, two U's but I think it just had uh, the one U And for a second there, I was thinking that it might not fit. Yeah, that looks about right. Take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. involves the 
Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss Maya should we go Mielis. soon? Yes, yeah, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. 